Okay, so our next guest is one of my favorite girls because she's one of my favorite Hollywood family members. Yes, she's an actress and she's a singer and she's a producer and she's currently starring off-Broadway in the show Love, Loss, and What I Wore. Please welcome the very talented and pretty Haley Duff. <laughs> Oh, look. Oh, thank you. And what I learned is that because um, they were saying her makeup looks really good and she does it herself. You do. do your own makeup. I, I do. Well, you know, with the play, I do my own makeup. Uh -huh. And uh, my mom was actually a makeup artist. See, I didn't realize that about yeah. your mother, Mrs. Susan Duff. Hi, Susan. The multi-talented mom. Yes. <laughs> your mother um, actually corresponded with me when I first got the show. Um, and she let me know. I was talking about, um, you know, like Hollywood kids and where they go wrong. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, I said, you know, something to the effect of why can't more Hollywood families be more like the Duffs? Oh, that's so and, sweet. Thank well, you. you know, because your mother has done such a good job with you and your sister Hillary, and we never see you coming out of Teddy's. That's, that's one of those clubs that you read about in the magazines yeah. that's in Hollywood. <laughs> and when they come out of there, they fall on the sidewalk, the celebrities do, and yeah. put cigarettes out on each other. I hope that's not what they're doing when they're in walking my, out of there. In my mind. <laughs> but I never see you or your sister doing any of that stuff. We try to just, uh, you know, we're from Texas, so we try to just stay home a lot, and we have dogs and lovely boyfriends, so we're homebodies. We like to be home. Yeah. You live with your boyfriend, right? I do, yeah. Yeah. I do. What's his name? Nick. Nick. And he's adorable. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> no, that's not. Is, is that Nick? Yeah. Cute. <laughs> he is. You know, all the girls that love Lost and What I Wore all think he's cute and want to go on a date with them. That's good. I told him no. And congratulations on Hillary's engagement. Hillary's engaged to the hockey she player, is. Mike. I know. Can you believe it? It's crazy. I know. Your little sister. And they're, they're, when are they getting married? They don't really know yet. Uh -huh. They're, like, taking their time. They're, she's young, so they're stretching out the engagement. I think she's really liking being engaged. I heard is, the ring is huge. It is huge large and in charge yeah. but it's so beautiful and i actually saw a really funny picture of her the other day coming out of the gym and she's kind of going like this or i don't know what yeah this hand ring, i guess ring shot and it was like Bing! yeah <laughs> it was it's really kind of cute it's like 14 carats i was reading on the internet do you feel pressure it's, to tie the knot I mean, well f from my mom maybe a little bit yeah but no i don't i'm i'm 25 and i adore my guy and I don't know I'm just like kind of really happy in the space I'm in which is good. Take your time. Yeah. Yeah. It's enjoy nice. enjoy living together and stuff. And it's just fun kind of planning hers with her you know. Yeah. It's great. And you're gonna be the main what do they call it? The maid of honor. I am. I'm really honor. excited. Very nice. Yeah. So I understand you're domestic um, <laughs> you know she, she started her own blog it's called Real Girls Kitchen. Mm -hmm. So that's nice you know I'm yeah. one of those I'm one of those girls who like you, I heard that you believe that, you know, it's important for women to have careers and things like that, but never forget some of the girl domestic stuff. Yeah, somebody, uh, when I was talking to your friend who I interviewed with yesterday, mm -hmm. she kind of said, you know, people think it's old school. They do. To cook and clean and have babies and things like that. And I think it's new school. I think it's amazing if you can go and look good every day, which all of you do. I was checking out all your outfits. Isn't this the best? Yes. Uh -huh. I love it. For, to look fabulous and have beautiful babies and hopefully a beautiful boyfriend or husband yes. and dinner on the table, I think that's... That's new school. And that's I heard that school. you would like to um, add a little sex appeal into it by cooking in your lubes. Little pair of Christians never hurt anybody. <laughs> But you know, I, you know, the, the idea of being domesticated is um, is old school. But I think with women like you, women like me, and so yeah. many of you watching, we give a new school twist to a very old school. Thing. And we can stay healthy that way too, yeah. which I I try to do. You know, it's so much easier to you look good. watch what you eat and eat at home. Yeah, you know. So tell us about you being with the cast of the off Broadway play Love Lost and What I Wore. I'm. Those are my ladies. Yes. I, I'm having the best time. They're so talented, and I feel like I've learned so much in this last couple of weeks. And the play is about how clothes remind you of mm -hmm. times in your life. Yeah, yes. how certain, a certain article of clothing can trigger a memory, and a funny memory or an emotional memory. Yeah. And 
It's very poignant, and uh, Delia and Nora Ephron wrote beautiful words for mm -hmm. this play, and it's. I feel honored to be up there every day. It's good. Well, congratulations on everything. Thank you. You know, uh, mainly staying out of the magazines, <laughs> and you know, and still being part of a fabulous family. And thank you so much for stopping by to say what's up, everybody. And go check her out in Love Lost and What I Wore at the West Side Theater here in New York City. Studio audience, they're all getting tickets. <laughs>